Reggae just extra with Ross Dennis. Cheerio, cheerio, baby. Don't you know I'm in need of thee? If you don't believe it's true, then why don't you try me? With a singing and recording career spanning over decades, Eric Donaldson, affectionately called Mr. Festival, continues to be a major force in the reggae industry. He won the popular Jamaica Festival Song Contest for an unmatched seven times and in an online poll held in 2013 by the Jamaica Cultural Development Commission, Land of My Birth was voted the most popular winner in the contest's history. My name is Ras Dennis, and you are welcome back to another crucial video by Reggae Gist Extra. You are now watching Reggae Gist Extra's Eric Donaldson's edition. The Jamaica Festival Song Competition, which started in 1966, is the longest-running song competition in Jamaica. It has been credited as a platform for aspiring artists, songwriters, and producers to showcase their talent. The likes of Toots Hibbert of the Maytals, Desmond Decker, Freddie McKay, and Stanley Beckford all entered winning song entries. In 1971, the legendary Bob Marley entered his song One Cup of Coffee, and though Eric Donaldson's Cherry Ho Cherry Ho Baby was the winning song, it helped to catapult Marley's musical career. Kindly stay tuned to find out more in this episode and do remember to subscribe to this channel, like, share, and most importantly hit the notification bell to be the first to watch our next video. A quick look at the profile of Eric Donaldson, he was born and raised in Bob Walk slash Kent Village, St. Catherine, on June 11, 1947. During his formative years, he attended school in Spanish Town and on completing his education began working as an interior decorator. He embarked on a musical career in 1964 when he recorded acetates for Clement Cox Sun Dodd at Studio One and Duke Reed at Treasure Isle Studios. Following his experience of recording exclusive dub plates for the island's leading sound systems, Eric was inspired to form a vocal group suitably named the West Indians. He recruited Leslie Burke and Hector Brooks to provide backing harmonies that melodiously punctuated his incredible falsetto. The group initially worked with Carl J.J. Johnson who in 1968 produced their notable hit Right On Time, along with Falling In Love, Hokey Pokey, and I Mean It. Later in the year, the trio recorded further material sides for Johnson, which saw them credited as the Kilowatts, with singles from this time including Wonderful World, Bring It On Home To Me, and Slot Machine Real Cool Operator. Early in 1969, the trio joined Lee Scratch Perry's stable of artists. With Scratch, the group released a series of minor hits such as Strange Whispering, Never Get Away aka, I Caught You Red-Handed, The Dirty Dozen, and Oh Lord. Soon after, Eric decided to pursue a solo career following the release of Come A Little Closer, a minor hit produced by Derek Harriet that credited the Prunes. He began working with Byron Lee's Dynamic Sounds Productions and the celebrated producer Alvin G.G. G. Ranglin, with the latter producing Lonely Nights, a superb ballad released after Eric's first success at the Song Festival. They call me Mr. Festival, you know, because I win the competition seven times. Yes. You know? I withdraw, not withdraw from the competition, but give it a, a break. Because I was getting um, words from evil eyes mm -hmm. saying that I win too much and I, mean, I must give some people a chance. <laughs> so deep within, I start to reason with the God of Thoughts. By 1971, Eric felt he needed more exposure and entered the Jamaican Song Festival competition with the now legendary Cherry O Baby. The popularity of the song almost sparked a riot when the crowd surged forward to get a little closer to the singer at a performance in Montego Bay. The fervor ensured his success a foregone conclusion at the finals, at which he famously won the overall competition in Kingston. You are now watching Reggae Gist Extra's Eric Donaldson's edition. The unprecedented demand for song led to recording sessions with Bunny Lee and the Inner Circle Band. Cherry O Baby soon topped the Jamaican charts and led to the release of his self-titled album debut, which sold a staggering 50,000 copies. 
Eric's newly enrolled manager, Tommy Cowan, who also managed Inner Circle, supervised the sessions. And while we're on the subject, Tommy had previously entered and won the song festival with Ba Ba Boom Time as part of the Jamaicans and worked alongside Bunny and Eric on a number of his hits. Some years later, Eric's song festival debut crossed over into the mainstream when it was covered by internationally acclaimed bands such as the Rolling Stones, who recorded a version for their album Black and Blue, and UB40, who covered his hit for their million-selling Labor of Love album series. Meanwhile, the singer followed his hit with a series of classic tunes such as his, Just Can't Happen This Way, which peaked at number three in the local charts as well as I'm Indebted to You, alongside a chart-topping version of the Winston's Love of the Common People. Eric continued to maintain a high profile in the reggae charts with further hits in the chart-topper Miserable Woman, alongside Little Did You Know. Iroy joined Eric on his third song festival entry in 1973, although Eric failed to win the competition this time. He continued to enjoy a run of success on the Jamaican charts till a period of perceived inactivity before he returned with the smash hit Keep On Writing, the popularity of which led to an album of the same name. The LP was followed soon after by the equally popular Kent Village, which featured another batch of hits including The Price, More Love and his second song festival winner, Sweet Jamaica. It was around this time that Eric was reunited with Lee Scratch Perry, who produced a wonderful laid-back reworking of the singer's festival debut, Say a Little Prayer, Freedom Street, and The Sublime Stand Up. Having won over the Roots supporters, he enjoyed his second victory in the song festival competition with the assertive land of my birth. Since that time he has won the competition a further four times. In the 80s he returned with Bread of Sorrow, Where is the Love, St. Catherine Preview, and his 1984 song festival winner, Proud to be Jamaican. Eric Donaldson continues to perform at revival shows while maintaining a high profile with albums such as Beautiful Day and Mr. Pirate. When he is not performing, he runs the Cherry O' Baby Go Go Bar and never fails to bring the house down with his magnum opus that just goes on and on. Proving that he came, he saw, and he conquered. Thanks for watching and do remember to subscribe. Give it a like and post a positive comment in the comment section below and I'll see you again very soon for another video. Many thanks for watching Reggae Just Extra with Ras Dennis.